Hi everybody, this is Jules of Paper Gems by Jules and today I'm sharing a little project um, that I took on just trying to make use of supplies that I've had for a very long time. Now I have had this gel press for years and I've used it a couple times recently um, but just not enough and I love the way I see projects of people using this with acrylic paints. Jennifer McGuire has done several videos using uh, distressed oxides like I'm using right now and other inks and it's just so amazing. So today I wanted to use it with some stamps, some unity stamps. And so I used distressed oxide in speckled egg, one of my new favorite colors. And I also use this beautiful heart swirl background stamp by Unity Stamps and Brutus Monroe. Amazing collaboration between two amazing companies. So I stamp it on the actual gel press, right? So it pulls the ink onto the stamp as if I was inking it, but it also leaves the remnants. And look. It's the reverse design and it's so cool and so pretty and subtle. The The color speckled egg is a subtle color. It's not, you know, too rough. And I think I was just trying to be really conservative. So this is how I used that one background. All right. So I used it a couple times and then I stamped paper on the actual stamp and used that um, there. So the next technique that I'm going to do, I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use this is a fun color that I think is probably, you know, just not used a lot. And it's called frayed burlap. Um, and again, I'm totally new I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying different things. And, you know, what's the worst that can happen? It's only paper, they say. So once again, I am stamping onto the actual gel press. This time I'm using a different stamp called Floral Tapestry. Again, wonderful collaboration between Unity Stamp and Brutus Monroe. So I'm gonna take this piece of cardstock, and because it's a gel press, it's like soft. So when you press, it's not like you're wrinkling the paper or you're over pressing. Um, this allows you to get a nice, well, you see I didn't blend well, so whoops. Okay, I gotta work on it. Um, but I'm gonna move that aside and show you what I did with the last one where I took another piece of paper and stamped the image. It's just you know, all the fun without the misty right now. It's just putting the paper on there and pressing it in, just old school style. And look, there's that same impression and it's just subtle, it's just subtle. So here I used both pieces on this card. So I used the one that was the impression off the stamp and the one off the gel press. All right, let's try this again. Let's see what else. Now this was really like my first try, not my favorite. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of like didn't like it and then try to make something of it. And I think I just put it aside because, you know, not everything's gonna come out great and sometimes it's a save it for later. Um, there's another uh, YouTuber that does, I think it was like Salvage Sundays and so she kind of has those backgrounds that you're just not 100% sure of and you're just kind of put aside because you know you had it in mind but it might have not turned out and she finds a way to make use of it. So I'll link her in the comments below but I, I love that series. I think it's a great way to kind of refresh stuff that you didn't realize like all right it's maybe not as bad as i thought so here i just mixed um i actually used chipped sapphire for the blue and then again that frayed burlap in the middle and again i'm just kind of winging it seeing what what i should try i sprayed a little water on it um just you know, whatever right let's see what happens so i just dropped the paper you know press it make sure try to get all the corners um, you'll see when I pick it up, I miss a corner, but whatever, like, it's all good. It's all good. We're having fun. So it's kind of got a little cool distressed look, but I just, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent on it. So let's fix that corner. Oh, it doubles up. So now it's kind of got layers. So let's make the whole thing uneven. Um, I can't, I missed, didn't catch that all on camera, but you'll see in the end, like I'm just kind of making all these different layers. And again, you can do your own thing. You can um, 
spray water on the paper. You can do splatters of water or splatters of ink. There's a million different ways to make something of this. So that's the one piece. And the great thing is that the ink that's still left over is salvageable. So you're not done. One of the things that I've realized with the gel press is that you can make several backgrounds all just with a little bit of ink. And it's it's fun. If you are someone who likes really symmetrical things like I do, um, this is kind of tough for me, but I do love the abstract look of things. So here I'm just going back with whatever ink is still on my roller. I'm just going to put it on there, mix and match. There's two different colors on there. Who cares? We're having fun. Let's get inky. I'm going to take that last piece of paper that I had, just kind of a mild ink to it. I'm just going to put it on there again see what's what let's see and it's just gonna be a little bit more of a hodgepodge Ooh, I kind of like this one right it looks like old wrinkled paper all right so now let's make use of it so this kind of looks like a denim like an old stonewashed denim maybe I don't, know. I don't know whatever I was having fun and it's let's just make use of it so um, I pulled out a kind of a grunge looking this is my fight with my magnets I'm sure you guys can relate an old grungy stamp by Unity called She Is. And it's really cool. And it's got a beautiful face in there, but it's got like a, an edge to it. So I thought that might go really well with this grunge background. Um, because I'm not doing any sort of Copic coloring, I am going to use one of Whitney's favorite inks, VersaFine Claire in Nocturne. And I love this ink for the simple fact that it is so rich. Um, it stinks because I can't use it with Copics, but I'll I have a little secret that I do and I'll share it with you verbally and maybe one day I'll get it on video for you. But I will stamp with, let's say, something that's Copic friendly like Memento ink, stamp an image, keep the stamp in your Misty and color it with Copic. And when you're done coloring, when you're settled, you love it, go back and stamp it with the VersaFine Claire. Now you can have that really crisp black ink around your image without having to worry whether or not you can use Copics. You'll thank me later. Anyway, back to this card. I'm just going to add a lot of ink. There's a lot of detail to this stamp, and I just want to make sure that she is in her full glory. So I am pressing on here. I'm trying not to do the, uh, you know, resuscitation as Tim Holtz calls it, and um, using a couple of little tools that I have here in in my craft space to to make sure I got it all. I'm going to give it a another whirl just in case. Um, but I really like the way this looks because she's grunge and the background is grunge. So lots of ink, lots of ink. Um, just bear with me. You know how this goes. And forgive my nails, they look like trash. Alright, so I think I'm good. Um, I think she looks really cool. So I'm going to trim her out. And I have trimmed another piece of black to outline her. And that's my card base. And then I took one of the sentiments. Um, they're, they're rather long in this stamp set. So this stamp set is awesome for cards. But it's also really cool if you do some mixed media stuff. Or if you have um, junk journals and different things like that. Beautiful sentiments um, to go with this, uh, this cool image. So I'm using a little foam tape behind this part. And I'm going to back it onto black cardstock that I've trimmed out just slightly bigger than the the image that I cut down my favorite part is centering it just struggle with anything catty corner just so you know anyways now I'm going to put it down on the actual card base this time I'm just going to use my little tape runner All right. and last I am going to add the sentiments. Now the sentiments I stamped in Versamark ink and then I white heat embossed them with the Alabaster White Brutus Monroe um, embossing powder. So I'm just kind of offsetting some of these and, and that's pretty much it with this card. But I just want to give you an idea of how to use your Unity stamps with your gel press. 
Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned a couple things to try. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments in the below and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.